Oh no, the evil Chuck E. Cheese robots are after me. Whatever am I gonna do? The horror is unbearable. Ugh. is it that this game became the poster child of fear in video games? Remember when gamers used to be scared of things like Pyramid Head or Nemesis? Yeah, the mighty have certainly fallen today. Oh, but Hunter, they're so creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. It has been a very long time since I was seven. Anyway, the basic setup for this game is you're a night guard at a Chuck E. Cheese rip-off restaurant and the animatronics are possessed and wish to kill you. Your only means of defense are the security cameras to check where the animatronics are at and the doors that only work when the power is on. You know, the architect should have really reconsidered his design for that to say it. Anyway, this game might have worked as like a satire of silly fears that people have when they're younger. Because there was always that one kid, if you ever actually went to Chuck E. Cheese, that would always be creeped out by the animatronics. They'd always be like, yeah, they're creepy. Run away. And there was always one of them, out of like every 20 that attended. So, I don't understand where this mass population of people who think that this is the scariest game ever came from. <laughs> Because, you know, it's a one-trick pony. All you... It doesn't really have... The atmosphere is very paper-thin. And besides closing doors, you can't really do anything. Like, I swear you're playing the game as a, one of those heads in a jar from Futurama. Because all you can do is swivel your neck and check things. You can't, you know, check the camera move according to the situation. You can't adapt your strategies according to what you're seeing on the camera to, like, I don't know, move to an exit. And that would be the logical thing to do when things are trying to kill you. You should just leave. Because, I mean, what can the night guard really do if he... If, if he weren't there, they would, I don't know, leave and harass someone down the road. But after he gets killed, which is a majority of the time, that's what they would do anyway, is leave and harass someone down the road. Either that or they would stay there, to which, why do they even have a night guard? But, okay. If I go Cinema Sins nitpick on this, I would be here forever, so I'm just gonna stop. Besides that, the, yeah, the atmosphere is paper thin. Any noises are like, the generic dun, dun, dun. it's not like in Lone Survivor where it actually you know blended in with the atmosphere and all around made you anxious to see what was coming next if there were any monsters in the next room no no I was never frantically checking the cameras for an animatronic or something like if I couldn't find one I'd be like oh whatever if one would get all, all close up on you like they like to do I would laugh at it because the designs are stupid and I was never frantically checking to try and keep myself alive. It never really instilled any kind of, I don't know, suspense in me. Lone Survivor by no means ever scared me, but it did at least keep me in suspense for what was going to happen next. And this game did not do that. The only, so you can't move and, you know, play a game of a cat and mouse, because that would actually be interesting. Instead, you're stuck in one room to be subject to mediocre jump scares. It's like the person who designed this went, you know what, <clears throat> I think that the sound and visuals and designs and everything are good enough. You want to know what would make this game really great? How about a jump scare? And then they thought, you know what would be even better? How about another jump scare? 
You know what would really instill the fear of God in them? Another jump scare! Hey, do you know what would propel this game to being Silent Hill 2 levels of scary? Another jump scare. Yeah, it gets old after a while, doesn't it? Not to mention, you get a warning before it actually happens. If you're checking the monitors or something and one of them gets to you, there's like a muffled sound of struggle before you put the thing down and you get the little boo. It's like if you're the, it's like if I put an annotation up here that said jump scare here. Or if like, I don't know, your little brother or something came sneaking up behind you but he kept tripping and stuff before he went boo it's, it just didn't do it not to mention the noises that the things make when the jump scares happen sound like the Rayman rage, raving rabbits not gonna lie like alright here's the sound it makes when there's a jump scare and here's the noise made with the rabbits It's not even to mention, the designs of these monsters are so dumb. We've got the rain, we've got the purple bunny, which looks like a distorted version of one of the Raven rabbits, to be honest. We've got <clears throat> the chicken thing, which is ridiculous. I think I would be more intimidated by Foghorn Leghorn. We've got the fox, which looks like Evil Crash from Crash Twin Sanity in a pirate outfit. It's not doing it for me. And then Freddy Fazbear looks like a mildly upset Teddy Graham. Now, I really hate to be that guy on the couch with when you're watching a scary movie with your friends or something. And you go, Oh, that wouldn't happen. That's that's not scary. It can't happen. Yeah, I know that things can't happen, and that's why we look to f fiction. If I I wouldn't need Metal Gear Solid if you know I could watch Metal Gear Rex and Ray fight each other out in my backyard. But I refuse to be intimidated by something that looks like an upset Teddy Graham. I just don't understand. Like, this game, like I said, would have been better if it was supposed to be satirical. Like, I don't know, always have the cameras just give really obscured shots so that you don't see what they actually look like until the jump scare happens. And then when that happens, have it be like, oh, I was supposed to be scared of that? It's so stupid. It's like when, it's like, when it effectively make it like a, one of the little guns that a clown has with the bang thing but that's all it is just it would have been better as a satire I don't understand why people are so scared of this when it's played straight it doesn't make sense to me I just gah why is this game so popular what do you think yeah I agree you are 100% correct, sir. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening to me. I hope you could manage to put up with my ranting here. Maybe you found some of this entertaining. But hopefully next time I'll have something more positive to talk about. See you later.